The ITL Safety Subculture Unit 2, referred to in this video as the SCU2, is a needleless device used to safely dispense sample from blood culture bottles. It replaces other commonly used devices such as venting needles or needles and syringes, which have inherent potential risks for needle stick injuries. SCU2 consists of a needleless cap that fits on top of a blood culture bottle. An internal plastic piercing tip penetrates the culture bottle septum, and a protective cap covers the external plastic tip that dispenses the fluid drops. SCU2 is used for applications that require obtaining a sample from a blood culture bottle, such as slide preparation for gram stains, subculture of sample onto media plates, or other tests that require one or multiple drops of sample. Let's review the simple procedure for using Safety Subculture Unit 2. First, gather materials that will be used during this procedure, including blood culture bottles, alcohol pads, SCU2, slides, and media plates. Before starting the procedure, gently agitate the culture bottle to mix contents. If you are using bottles containing resin beads, allow beads to resettle after agitating. Next, disinfect the bottle septum per your facility procedure. Now you are ready to begin the dispensing procedure. Open the SCU2 package by peeling it apart at the peel tab end. Remove SCU2 from package, being careful not to touch the piercing tip. Insert SCU2 into the bottle septum. By holding the bottle with one hand and with the other hand, place SCU2 over the center of the culture bottle septum. Now, press SCU2 down, inserting the piercing tip into the septum. Once SCU2 is inserted into the bottle septum, hold the cap in place and unscrew and remove the protective cap. Keep the protective cap nearby, as it will be used again to cover the dispensing tip after the procedure. Now, tilt the bottle downward at an approximate 45 degree angle to begin dispensing drops onto the slide or media plate. Slightly angle the bottle upwards between each drop to prevent dispensing drops between plates. Now, here are a few tips for efficient drop dispensing. It may take a few seconds to dispense the first drop. If needed, you can give the bottle a gentle shake to begin dispensing the drops. For bottles that contain resin beads, angle the bottle so that the resin beads gather along the side of the bottle. This prevents the resin beads from obstructing the SCU2 piercing tip. If beads do obstruct the tip, this could interfere with dispensing drops. If resin beads obstruct the tip, tilt the bottle back and forth to move the resin beads away from the piercing tip. Allow resin beads to settle and resume dispensing sample drops. After the required number of sample drops from the bottle have been dispensed, Turn the bottle upright and replace the protective cap over the dispensing tip. Now you are ready to remove SCU2 from the bottle. Hold the bottle with one hand, and with the other hand, lift SCU2 straight up from the bottle septum. Dispose of SCU2 according to your facility procedure. Safety Subculture Unit 2 is a safe, easy-to-use device to dispense sample drops from culture bottles.